Hello guys, Bingo Cat here, and today's video is going to be a video of me using Windows 95 in 2016. Now, for those of you who have not seen my previous videos, I highly recommend watching them first, but you don't have to. It's of me using Windows 98 and me using Windows XP in uh, more modern times. So, anyways, as you can see, I have Windows 95 running here in VMware. If I like VMware because I don't have to go out and buy, you know, a whole separate computer just to run one operating system. So let's go ahead and turn on Windows 95. Now for those of you who have not seen Teams React to Windows 95 by the Fine Brothers, um, I'd recommend watching that too sometime or another. That's kind of what inspired me to make this video. Now um, I, I was born, for those of you who don't know, I was born around the time Windows 95 came out. So, yeah, and Windows 95 nowadays is over 20 years old, and so, as far as software standards go, that's ancient now. And, but Windows 10, on the other hand, is still basically really similar to Windows 95 on its core functionality. So anyways, Windows 95, as you can see, it loaded up the login screen really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and log in. If this was on an actual computer, it probably would have taken like two to four minutes if not a lot longer. So let's log in. And here we have the Windows 95 desktop. You know, besides the different shade of blue and the icons, at first glance it actually looks pretty similar to Windows 10. As you can see, it's still, it has Internet Explorer. Windows 95 was the first operating system by Microsoft of Internet Explorer. And Internet Explorer, even though it was depreciated by Microsoft Edge, is still in Windows 10 today. And so, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and look around Windows 95. As you can see, it, uh, it was the first operating system that introduced the Start menu. And Windows 10 still has the Start menu. Right? And it still has most of, every, Windows, most of everything that was introduced in Windows 95 still exists in one way or another in Windows 10. So let's take a look around. Um, as far as built-in programs that came with Windows 95, once again, Enter Explorer. MS-DOS prompt is basically like the command line um, that you see in more modern Windows versions, but it used to be Windows was built off of DOS and blah, 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 blah. But long story short, this was basically just an earlier version of the command line, basically Windows 95's command line. So let's go ahead and exit that. Um, it also came with Outlook. Windows 10 doesn't come with this anymore. Windows Explorer. It came with, you know, Notepad, which Notepad, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, is still literally the exact same as, as it is in Windows 10. This has not changed, and this is 20 years old. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but anyways, same thing with Paint. Paint's actually changed, but barely, even though now it's over 20 years old as well. Um, what else does it come with? Calculator, system tools, Windows Media Player it comes with. This is Windows Media Player uh, 6. If In case you aren't aware, they're now on version 11, but that was released 10 years ago now, so it's pretty much out of date, but still useful. Now, like in the now, like in the Windows XP video, now you can't still stream radio. Darn it! In the Windows XP video, you can still stream um, radio in Windows Media Player 9, which was released 13 years ago. Let's see. They also have games. Like this was operating system, I believe, that introduced Minesweeper. As you can see right here the window's really small by today's standards and i'm not gonna lose a mine squeaker for you guys so let's see as far as other stuff goes you can change the backgrounds are obviously totally different than they are in windows 10 for the better or the worse like here's blue here's black they don't really have actual picture backgrounds and Windows 95 like they do in Windows XP and above. They just have patterns. Um, screensavers, one of the things that Windows 95 was most famous for was the amount of screensavers that it had. Like this. Or I think the most famous 
one and Windows 95 is probably in one version of Windows 95 there's one with the house but this is probably the most famous old Windows screensaver the maze this was my favorite one as a kid I didn't really use Windows 95 but I used Windows 98 a lot as a kid uh, let's see this program is performed in a legal operation now for those of you who aren't aware this doesn't mean the program broke the law it just means it did s ran into some error it couldn't handle and they call it illegal for some reason oh look my screen's all small now ah I think I can fix that by just doing that or not oh yep that fixed it alright so let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer try to make this more exciting than my XP video. My XP video just pretty much looked at Firefox the whole time. That's not too fun. Let's go to Google.com. For those of you who aren't aware, this is Internet Explorer 5. So basically, that was released before 2001, so it's really old now. So Google loaded just fine, but if you wanted to go to YouTube, it can't even display the page. So that's why I've got Opera loaded on here. Now this version of Opera hasn't been updated in six years, but it still displays web pages a heck of a lot more modern than Internet Explorer 5 does. Like I think it can at least get to YouTube. See, I mean it doesn't look very good, but you can still get to YouTube. So besides that, um, what else? Here's what my computer or Windows Explorer looks like back in Windows 95. As you can see, it has no nice address bar. It doesn't have that nice little sidebar you have in Windows 7 and 10. It basically is just really primitive in comparison. But you can still do basically all the tasks you need to do. And this was the other annoying thing. It opens each folder in its own separate window. I don't like that. I like them all opening in the same windows, which is why you can set it to be that way. I'll admit though for everything that Windows 95 I don't think does well, when you think about it, since Windows 95 actually has less features than Windows 10, it's actually simpler to use. But yeah, but yeah this all the core functionality of Windows 95 is basically the same in Windows 10. You can still, I mean it's just a desktop operating system I guess. Like, that was the documents, I mean, that was the program files folder, this is documents. Um, let's close that. And go to control panel, which still exists in Windows 10, it just looks a lot different. Windows 10, they're moving it to a new settings app, but this is what control panel looks like back in 95. Um... Also, the search in Windows 95, it was there, it just didn't work that well. Like, what if you wanted to search for program files? Just find the folder named program files. Oh, darn it, that was actually pretty quick. Faster than Windows 10 would find it. Okay. Well, let's say I then make a new text document here called Find This File If You Can Windows. Um, no, I don't want to change that. This is just going to be a .txt file. Alright. Let's see. Find this file if you can win this. Oh, look, look at all that stuff it brings up. So that actually isn't more efficient than Windows 7, 8, and 10 search. But then again, this thing is over... Once again, Windows 95 is over 20 years old. So I don't expect it to do anything better than Windows 10 can. Um, as far as other stuff, once again the recycling bin in Windows 95 is virtually the exact same as the recycling bin in Windows 10. And it even has a nice suspend option here, which is still really prevalent today. Now the run command, it still exists in Windows 10, you just don't see it as much. And yeah, so basically, that's it. Oh, and the specs needed for Windows 95 were obviously a lot lower than you needed them for Windows 10. On it even comes with AOL and Internet Free Trial that you can't 
Or can you? I don't have the modem anyway, so it probably won't work. Yeah, it's not going to work. But I still wonder if you could use that. Um, what else? Outlook. Um, okay, let's do my YouTube username. Probably won't work, but let's try it. Bingo Cat 1000. Oh god, I have to specify middle servers. Yeah, for, forget this. I don't know Google Mail servers off the top of my head. But here's what mail looks like in Windows 95. It still looks really similar to today's Outlook at the core aspects. Um, so let's delete this file. After this video, I might. I kind of want to remake my other Windows videos to show you guys more features. I didn't really do much of that in my other Windows videos. But I don't know what imaging is. I'm just going to assume though it's an app where you view pictures. Dial up networking, no one uses dial up anymore. So if you never had dial up, my advice is you get good for you. We had dial up for a little bit, I guess, in the late 90s, but I don't remember it. Internet connection wizard. Well, I'm already connected to the internet, so you don't need to sign up for a new internet account. So I'm just going to skip this. Um. Any other new icons? I don't know what this is. This still exists, I think, in Windows 10, but no one uses it. I don't know what a Microsoft data link is. Hi. Now I don't want to change a file extension. What was it? DLP? I don't remember. UDL. Dot UDL. I may know my IT, but I don't really know what this is. But I've never seen it in Windows 10, so I just assume it's out of date. And the taskbar is still pretty similar to Windows 10. You can even customize the start menu. Oh, this is actually even easier than it is in Windows 10. Okay. Alright, so the last part of this video is now I'm going to shut down the computer since I pretty much should just showed you guys everything in Windows 95 and this was a part that tripped up the kids of uh, Teens React it says it's now safe to turn off your computer well you know how in today's world stuff actually just turns off when you press turn off well back in Windows 95 and 98 it didn't used to do that so, as a result, you had to actually, after it displayed this message, you had to go and turn it off with the power button, which I can simulate in VMware. So, darn it. So I just click that, and it powers off. So, yeah, anyways, guys, that was the whole video. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.